goes back to the very beginnings of the SCA out in California. The author is Dorothy Height, who wrote this many years ago. And she doesn't travel much anyplace anymore. She's not very good at health. But she posts. And I know her online. <laughs> so this is somebody I know sort of although I've never met her. Oh, well, I, I've read a book of hers. And hopefully I can do this without losing the page. You know how that works? I'm, <laughs> Where'd you go? <laughs> Come on, you're number 11. What's the matter with you? <laughs> Jeez. Wait, got it. Got it. I'm trying to get it big enough to read. Uh, illuminated manuscripts have, can be quite funny sometimes. <laughs> You're watching the edit. I'm not going to edit it. Come back here. <laughs> okay, got it. Explanation. This happened at an SCA event a good many years ago. We were all camping outside, so the organizers had arranged for porta potties to be distributed around the landscape. This goes really far back. And for a truck to come pump them every day. I wanted to put it all in pre-industrial language. So for mule, read engine. For nose bag, read auxiliary again, gas tank. For pipe, read cigarette. For poke him in the belly, read prime the carburetor with a cup full of gasoline. And for brandy wine, read bucket of privy cleaning solution. <laughs> The rest is pretty accurate. These are Dorothy's words. She gave me this along with giving me this poem. The day the honey wagon caught fire. Or <laughs> why people get pelicans. <laughs> Down until every pretty empty, he watched it out of town. 
Now the danger has been averted, for the privies they are clean, all thanks to Master Ballant, who has had me on the scene. We're singing praise to Ballant that the wagon did not burn, and Asher's raising grateful prayers to whom it might concern. <laughs> okay, and the, uh, she says, make sure you credit Master Bellin the hunter, a fine guy. <laughs>